Christopher Walker, or otherwise known as Chris Walker, is one of the horror game Outlast main antagonists. While he has also appeared in Outlast Whistleblower, it was only for a short sequence. His first and last appearance were both in the events of the base game Outlast, and we see him die in the final mission of the game. His appearance in Whistleblower serves as a separate encounter during the same events of the base game. Walker is quite large and stands at around 6 to 7 feet tall. He is extremely strong and has been seen hoisting characters into the air above his head. He even possesses the strength to tear people's limbs and heads from their body. He, for his gigantic size, is actually quite fast and able to keep up with many fleeing victims. A document found within the game tells us about his face and how it became so mutilated. It describes the ripped flesh from his forehead as a way of giving himself truer vision, like the idea of a third eye. It also explains why he's so aggressive. He possesses a predominant fixation, which has led Walker's exaggeration of military protocol. We see this when he attempts to contain the patients and stop anyone from leaving the Mount Massive Asylum, in particular the Wall Rider. This military mentality came from the fact that, that Walker, before being admitted to the asylum, was an ex was ex-military and was responsible for the torture of many Afghanistan people. These events led Chris Walker to develop many mental troubles. After leaving the military, the Murkoff Corporation noticed him and purposefully put him in charge of the security at their Mount Massive Asylum Research Base. His obsession with the containment of the asylum's inhabitants most likely originates from his dark military history. His insanity and inc is unquestionable, however it seems that he has some sort of a level head as his reasoning for the need for killing everyone he sees is to take away any possible host for the wall rider and to stop the wall rider from reaching the outside world where it can bring about death and destruction. As we do hear him say he is sorry to Miles that he needs to contain it. Chris wears only cargo pants and his combat boots with the absence of any shirt. Walker is extremely overweight but he has also a great deal of muscle underneath resulting in him being very large and very strong. He has wrapped chains around his arms and legs and has many cuts and scars scattering his body. His eyes are also glazed white for unknown reasons. Despite Walker's tremendous physical attributes, his mind was never much more than that of a child's, which led to the eventual psychic break he suffered while working for the psychotherapy clinic as a surveillance officer. There his colleagues would nickname him Strong Fat and continue to degrade him until he snapped and murdered three inmates at the clinic. He brutally ripped their bodies to bits. After this, Murkoff sent agents to investigate Walker without involving the law. During their investigation, they discovered a fourth victim, a doctor at the clinic. They ventured to Chris Walker's residence where they discovered three cooler boxes each with the head of one of the inmates and the fourth empty cooler, presumably for the doctor that he had murdered. The agents concluded that he would be home soon to add to his collection, and so waited for his arrival. During this time, they found a childhood toy of his, a stuffed toy pig. When Walker arrived home with the last head, the, agent, the agents drew their guns and ordered him to stand down. However, upon seeing that they were holding his stuffed animal, he lashed out and began viciously attacking them. The female agent shot him in the face multiple times, not directly penetrating, but skimming across and horribly gashing his face in wounds that would later leave horrific scarring. He threw her out a window and then after this was shot several times by the male agent, to which Walker then threw him to the ground. But before Walker could finish the agent off, the female drove a car into him and was able to knock him out. After these events, Murkoff was so eager to begin experimenting and studying him 
that they blamed all the murders on another patient who received a full lifetime prison sentence. Walker was then institutionalised at the Mount Massive Asylum for experimentation. The experiments performed utilising the morphogenic engine on Walker further pushed his mind to the limits of insanity and broke his soul and body. They forced his aggressiveness and dominant nature to the forefront of his broken mind and twisted him until he was far less than human. He and his time alone being held within his containment cell caused him to self-mutilate his face, cutting the flesh from his forehead to make the third eye and removing his nose and flesh from around his mouth due to these body parts apparently causing him anxiety. After the security breach of the Mount Massive Asylum, Chris Walker got free and began to kill anyone he encountered, staff, doctors, patients and other security alike. Walker killed a many number of inmates and most of the Murkoff tactical operators sent in to clean up the place. Walker then set his sights on a new security threat that newly arrived, Miles, the main protagonist of the Outlast game. He, can, he constantly stalks Miles throughout the facility whilst containing others as he sees fit. After many kills, he begins muttering about containment of the people of the asylum. Walker patrols areas throughout the asylum and has many run-ins with Miles as he goes. He makes many attempts to kill Miles, but is never actually truly successful. Walker constantly calls the patients whores, and Miles is often referred to as the little pig. Walker often taunts Miles by calling out to him with the phrase, You were here, weren't you, little pig? At the end of the game, Miles is in the underground laboratory when Walker attempts to kill Miles for the last time. He is almost successful grabbing Miles and stating that the little pig won't escape this time. However, when the wall rider makes an appearance and attacks Walk Walker, it throws him around the room, smashing him into walls. And to finish him off, the wall rider ferociously forces his body with such power through a closed air grate that Walker's body is shredded and blood and guts rain down from the vent all whilst Miles films with his camera. Walker is briefly seen in Outlast Whistleblower and the Murkoff account comics. In Whistleblower, he is seen by Wayland Park doing his usual favourite pastime, chasing the terrified inmates of the asylum, including Wayland himself. In the Murkoff account, Wayland's leaked footage shows Walker tearing off the heads of various Murkoff employees. And this is basically Chris Walker's story from Outlast. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas for the next video I should post, please leave them down in the comments section. And I'll be sure to make a video on that. And if you want to stay up to date with everything we're doing here on the channel, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.